Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with one more video, and today we have one of our friend uh, Gayatri with us. So she'll be giving a complete talk regarding EPUB company. And uh, before starting our talk, guys, uh, let uh, ask uh, Gayatri to give a small introduction about her, and later we can go with our uh, talk. Uh, Gayatri, welcome to the channel. Firstly, yeah, thank you so much for getting for having me here. It's a pleasure, Gayatri. So, you know, before jumping to a main talk, uh, just give a small talk, I mean, the introduction about yourself to audience. Yeah, sure. So, I'm Gayatri. I'm basically from uh, Nellu district in Andhra Pradesh. Mm -hmm. So, currently, I'm working as a junior software test automation engineer in EPAM. Mm -hmm. And I'm from the EC background and 2022 passed out. Yeah, while coming to the EPAM company, it's a uh, uh, American company that will provide the uh, software engineering services for the software development and also the digital mm -hmm. okay. uh, platforms to develop the digital platforms. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. You know, when compared to other companies, is it same or is it different? How is it? It's a little bit different, I think, because okay. uh, there will be five different rounds. We have to go through it to get placed in the EPAM. Okay. So the first round is like it's assessment round one. And there will be around 20 to 25 MCQs. Okay. The MCQs are based on Java, mm -hmm. Aptitude and English. Okay. And mm -hmm. also there is one coding question. And okay. here one more thing is that the coding can be done only in the Java language. It does not allow any other languages. Okay. Uh -huh. And also, yeah, it's okay. It's a basic coding question. Okay. That's it about uh, the round one. So, you know, as you mentioned uh, regarding the round one, so the first will be the aptitude and uh, the common English comprehensive question and uh, consists of yeah. one coding question, correct? So coming yeah. to its coding question, uh, guys, like how are the question? Uh, is it array? Is it string? Like how is it? Yeah, in my case, it was array, array and okay. it's a basic question. Basic, okay. No, able to solve. Uh, no data structure, nothing. No, no. Solo. Solo. So how much time it took to get the round one result? Can you talk on that? Yeah, it took just two days. Two days, okay. Yeah. And uh, mode of communication is through mail or is it telephonic call? How is it? It's through mail. Mail. Solo. So we're done with uh, the round one. So how was second round two? Yeah, within two days, I got a mail for uh, round two. Okay. And the round two was like, uh -huh. there will be 25 MCQs and two coding questions. So MCQs are like multiple answer questions. Okay. And the coding question is one is hard and another one is medium. Okay. Uh -huh. um, the questions are based on the collections. Collections, okay. Collections. Coming to the GUD, here the uh, one of the instructor will assign the topic and also will guide us the uh, basic rules how okay. to start the GUD start. and mm -hmm. how how much time uh, it will take to complete. So, uh, guys, as you mentioned uh, in the group discussion, they will be giving you know complete talk like uh, the rules and regulations before starting the GUD. Uh, so, how long it to event? Any idea? Yeah, it went around thirty minutes. Thirty, 30 minutes. So, so first. Five minutes or like introduction. Okay. And after twenty five, um, remaining twenty five minutes or like okay. the people in the GD has to go through the conversation okay. about okay. the given topic. Okay. So, uh, you know, uh, is there any pattern? Is it, uh, like one by one? So first turn will be yours, and later once you're done with your point, next person has no, to. No, not like that. Not like that. So it's like random. If you have a point, speak. Random. Sure. Yeah. So this was all about the group discussion. No. So, how much time it took to get the GD result? Within 24 hours. Uh, within a one day. By the next, next day, you yeah, got within the result. one day. Yeah. So, the first round was uh, the assessment, second was, was the technical round, and third was the GD. What was the fourth round? I got two days gap to prepare for technical interview. Okay. Mm -hmm. And within two days, I'm going to have a technical interview. Okay. So, the interview was quite moderate okay and it was a little bit interesting too interesting okay yeah yeah the first they will ask me about to introduce myself mm -hmm. and then the question was like in the round two there is a coding questions like right mm -hmm. so we have to explain the coding question that we have been executed in the assessment round okay mm -hmm. is it same to they all will share the screen okay okay is it same to all like how is it for you, it got. I like think that. mostly it happens. Uh, in my okay. case, it happens like okay. that. So the code which you wrote in the round two, you have to explain that code in uh, round four. 
yeah so, in the technical interview round okay so, so ex- explain in the sense like uh, they'll be sharing the screen or you have to share your screen and yeah do? they will share the s- screenshot of our code Achha, okay. by sharing the screen mm-hmm. you have to explain it out so how did you explain uh gayatri like you know uh, what they said to explain the time complexity as well as uh the no no just they just thing. asked me to explain the pro logic logic that's it so that was all about technical round four yeah so apart from uh, the explanation of the code uh, they didn't ask anything no 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 there is a te- there's a technical questions okay how were the questions that have been asked from java dbms java. html okay. mm-hmm. and the questions are based on the oops concepts collections mm-hmm. okay and and sql sql okay and html html that's it completely technical questions okay chalo so apart from this no situation based question nothing no those questions are asked in hr interview hr i mean in the next round final round next round yeah chalo in round 4 uh, you have to explain the logic for the code which you wrote in the round 2 and uh, added, adding to that uh, question related to the java oops collection html oops. so those are the questions correct yeah and also the some questions are like difference between the abstract class in mm-hmm. interface and also okay. the difference between the static and final so, such kind of questions are there chalo so what was the time taken to get uh, the round 4 result idea it took one day one day so, within one day i got the result so next was uh, as you mentioned it was hr H- final round yeah so how was your hr interview experience it was interesting interesting okay yeah the questions are like uh, they will give a different situation and how you gonna deal with it mm-hmm. so what was the question do you remember i didn't remember exactly okay no worries uh, as a, in hr they will be giving a scenario or a scene uh, you have to explain like how you going to react to that situation yeah Yeah. So that was all about the HR. And also, like there, there is also question like, what is the difficult situation that you have gone through, mm-hmm. and how do you overcome it? Okay. So you know, as you mentioned in the HR, it's all about uh, the situation based question, correct? So apart from that, did they ask anything in the HR? Hmm. Yeah. There are questions like, if you are working in a project, right? okay so you are the team leader okay if one of the member in the you are in your team okay uh, will not work mm-hmm. like okay. uh, unfortunately he is not working and he mm-hmm. is not at all informing you okay mm-hmm. then how will you manage that work okay that was the question yeah so what was your answer <laughs> i couldn't remember exactly Chala. i said something uh-huh. at that time chalo but no worries that was the kind of questions what we may expect yeah. in the hr chalo yeah so gayatri in hr no technical round i mean no technical question nothing no i mean uh, did they discuss anything related to the location the salary anything yeah, yeah. not about the salary mm-hmm. but they discussed about the location location mm-hmm. yeah and also at the end they will give a chance to ask the queries if we have a, if any we have any queries queries chalo yeah so and also was... there is no bond no bond okay no bond chalo so this was all about the hr round yeah so how much time it took to get uh, the hr result gayatri uh, do you remember yeah uh, after 20 days i got a call from one of the member from epam who is okay. a senior recruiter mm-hmm. and he told that uh, we are assigning you a test automation role are you okay with it okay mm-hmm. if you are okay if you, you can share the few of the credentials mm-hmm. like okay. that i got a call from him okay mm-hmm. yeah and after that within 2 days i got an offer letter from mm-hmm. the epam okay mm-hmm. within 10 days i have joined in the company okay chalo so this was all about uh, the final result update yeah so before jumping to the job description gayatri would you like to mention anything are we missing anything i think no all right we covered everything as you mentioned so we'll jump to its job description i will start with uh, what is your role or role designation yeah my designation is junior software test automation engineer 
Okay, so the coming to its CTC, any talk on that? Yeah, being a fresher, it was six LPA. Okay. Is the average salary? Average salary. Okay, so you know, putting spotlight on the internship and stipend. Can you talk on that? Yeah, sure. So after joining to the company, for the first three days was like uh, it's a we came to know about the corporate corporate mm -hmm. things and mm -hmm. the what is the systematic approaches mm -hmm. that the EPAM EPAM follow. Mm -hmm. And after that, we uh, we have moved to the internship, mm -hmm. and it's a, the internship is about five months. Five months. Okay. Uh, and also there's a stipend from 10 to 15 K. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, in the internship, like they will train us. What mm -hmm. are the skills required for the particular role? Okay. They are assigned mm -hmm. with the role, right? Okay. So they will train us on those skills. Okay. Which are required for the particular round. Mm -hmm. And also we are having mentors who mentors. will guide us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is a very good um, thing. So, you it's know, a very good thing. Got it. So coming to its mode, uh, right? Is it online? Or is it uh, offline? How was it? It was online. Work from home. Work from home. Chalo, I guess we have covered everything uh, which was necessary to the audience. So last question. Any suggestion to the audience? Yeah. 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 I would like to suggest that. So whoever is going going to attend the EPAM interviews or EPAM written test. Mm -hmm. I think it's better if you have a grip on Java, like you must have the clear cut understanding about the basics of Java. Mm -hmm. so, and also that yeah. you, you must be aware of the skills that you have mentioned in the resume. resume. Sometimes mm -hmm. the questions are based on the resume, right? Yep. Agree. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Chalo. So adding to the Gayatri's uh, point guys, you know, has she mentioned uh, in the round four, uh, there will be a scenario that where you need to explain the same code which you wrote in the round two. So if possible, just try to uh, have a hands on experience because just try to write the code by yourself instead of taking uh, somebody's help, just try to uh, write the code by yourself because the advantage is guys, you can uh, explain its logic clearly in the round four. Uh, that was my suggestion. And as she was mentioning, just try to uh, prepare whatever the skills you have mentioned in the resume. Uh, don't uh, prepare the resume to impress the candidates. Just try to uh, put the resume according to your skill set. And that was uh, the add-on from my end. And uh, yeah, guys, I guess we covered everything which was necessary. Yeah, one more thing yeah. I want to add. Go on, go on. Yeah, in the technical interview, they are asking us to execute the sum of the basic coding questions. Mm -hmm. Okay like reversing the number descending okay. or uh, mm -hmm. descending order yeah. order so that uh, was i mean like basic yeah. array question basic array question yeah basic questions Chalo. so is there any anything you want to add on yeah nothing we have covered almost everything all right so from my end everything has been asked and from your end everything has been answered and uh yeah, guys, really, really appreciate you for taking time and joining us and, you know, sharing your um, interview experience with the audience. It means a lot. Thank you. And also, thank you, Akshay, for having me here. Pleasure, pleasure, Gayatri. And, uh, yeah, guys, this is all about this talk. And, guys, I'd like to mention we also have a Telegram community group. Uh, link is given in the description. And, guys, if you're not a subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon and subscribe. And, uh, Gayatri, uh, once again, thank you for joining us yeah. today. Yeah, thank you so much. And uh, I guess that's it for today. See you in the next video. Take care.